Here is how to use the Klein Tools wire crimper, stripper, and cutter for pass-through. Now this is gonna be the same thing for Cat 5E and Cat 6 cable. I've got two different kinds of Cat 6. This is off Amazon, it's much easier to work off of and about half the price of this one. This is the standard one from Home Depot. So before we get started, the Klein tool here, it is ratcheting, so if you come all the way down, it'll release and go up. If you come halfway, it'll stay there. You do have this little override here, so if you pull down just a tiny bit, turn that knob, it'll release it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go ahead and, and cut and then strip. So to cut it, you'll go all the way over and then just ratchet down. There we go, cut a little piece off. To strip it, you're gonna come just about a half an inch there into that centerfold. You'll go there, you can go all the way down and then you'll just rotate this. So you'll hold the cable and then rotate that on the same plane. Now that's just gonna score it, you can tell there. So you'll need to break it both directions, a little bit there, and then it comes off. Now here's where the scissors come in handy. And different cables are gonna have different things in the middle here. So you'll see two, two things here. Little piece of rope, I have no idea what that's for, so if you know, let me know in the comments. And then this one has a little plastic guide here. It's just got four channels in it, which basically holds, you know, one, one wire on each side of it. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cut those off with some scissors. Debatably, you can use this tool for that, but I don't know how you get it close enough. So a lot of people use scissors or some other type of like precision cutting thing. And for this, it's gonna shoot that plastic off. I don't know if these scissors are sharp enough to cut that rope part. It's not, which is fine, we can leave that. Next thing we're gonna do, I'll just grab that out of the way. Next thing we're gonna do is untwist these wires. Now, the reason I like this black Amazon cable is this is much easier to untwist. As you could tell, I'm almost done with this. It's gonna go pretty quick. And then the next thing you're gonna do is straighten these out. Now, uh, one thing you'll want to do when you're working with cable like this is to cut off, um, excuse me, to strip off more than this, right? So this is probably an inch and a half I don't know, debatably two inches, you'll probably want four to six inches. It's gonna make it a lot easier to work with and you'll see what I mean in a second. Next thing we're gonna do is following this RJ45, this top left coating. Now, if you notice here, these are all colored. It might be hard to kind of tell with this background, but you're gonna have brown, brown and white striped, and then it's gonna go green. This is, this is where it's nice to have a few extra inches. And then we go white, blue, and then blue, white, green, orange, orange, white. So we've got them in that order. And then one thing that I'll do here is that I'll bend this back and forth just to kind of get the wires together and playing on the same field here. Okay, there we go. And you, you'll notice that it's solid stripe, solid stripe, solid stripe. Now what we're gonna do, holding it the opposite direction, if you notice when we come down here, that blade comes down, and that's what we wanna cut across this top just so that it's a nice flat line. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, now you'll notice that those are all nice and flat. We're gonna take this pass through with the clip towards us. So the clip is gonna go up and we'll just stick that right in. And that goes in pretty easily. Uh, if it doesn't, you can always pull it back out and that just means it's not, not as flush up at the top. Then what we're gonna do is you push from the bottom. Ooh, you'll notice. Oh, that's just a little rope, that doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll push, pull the wires, push the black up, pull the wires, push, just keep doing that. You want to get this black part all the way up. And that's about as good as it's going to get there. Now you want to make sure all the cables are together at the top. And then this is going to go through this top left portion, just like you'd insert a regular Ethernet, right? Then I'm going to pull on this left side and then ratchet all the way down. There you go. That's done. 
Now I'm going to show you this other cable as well. So here's where it would come in handy, right? So you've got seven feet of this cable. Now, if you didn't want seven feet, right, we'll cut off that side. We'll strip some of this, right? So this is if you needed three feet or four feet, you could just redo one of the ends. Again, you'll see that it scored it, but it didn't cut it all the way through. I might actually need to do that again. I lied to you earlier. This is actually not from Home Depot. This was just a pre-bought pack somewhere else. There we go. So you'll get that wiring off. You'll notice that there's nothing in here, right? There's no, no plastic piece. There's no rope or anything. Um, so some of them have it, some of them don't. Another tip that you could do with this piece that you just trimmed off, what some people do is if you just get this started right at the top, you can come here and, and go in between them, and then you just twist that around. So that's helpful on the Home Depot wire because that wire is a pain in the butt to work with. It's just really tightly wound. So just a little, little trip trick for you. Anyways, you'll repeat the same process. You'll go through, follow this, this pattern here, trim it, pass it through, and then ratchet it down there.